back to Cuenca. In Cuenca, we we had there there was a little difference with some of the interaction. It was we all. So I had a migraine for four days. It was I was on the verge of I don't know bashing my brain on the wall. So and we we lived in very comfortable apartment, a nice area. It was very, nice. uh, it was very pleasant after affordable. Yes. Uh, and it was um, and people you know I'm sorry people say it's a spring like climate I don't get this if concept. you're from Alaska if yeah, you're from maybe. Portland it was like spring in Portland it was cold and rainy no February in Portland yeah probably. yeah it wasn't pleasant environment for me it was and again those clouds I'd never seen anything like that those black clouds moving from three four directions all at once mm -hmm. and that's why there's no weather pattern no and there is no predictability there's a cold downpour yeah. that makes a difference and you wake up in the morning you are cold you're cold it's so that was also okay we looked around again we took a trip with a realtor we went through those popular little towns in the valley and Hiron and others That's right. we decided to move on we flew to loja mm -hmm. because loja again it's on the map many people like that place it's a nice place and we liked loja out of all the places in ecuador that was probably loja our was our favorite, favorite. The, yes the, the climate is maybe the best uh, the climate is milder way milder people are very nice happier Happier. They're happier, they're more engaging, that's, they're that's true. They they're relate happy, to you in a different way. Happy people, the layout, the way the town was laid out too, it was easy to walk easy, around. Easy, yeah, it's um, very, it was pleasant it was experience. It felt yes. inviting. Yeah, Again, like we took um, a couple days with a realtor. It's the best way to see around, right? You don't pay anything and <laughs> you learn a lot. So. We went to Vilcabamba, of course, just out of curiosity. It's hilarious. Yeah. It's a cartoon. It's a cartoon exactly. place. It's really a cartoon place. It's kind of like Country Fair in, uh, <laughs> in uh, Oregon. It's a little bit like uh, some of the folks you meet at Country Fair. You see them once a year. They're there every year, and that's their thing. But these guys, they, they went so they live there. They retired That's, from country fairs. They to country fair, yeah. 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 And they're ferociously protective of places. That's what I noticed Except about Ecuador. Except the United States, they hate it with a passion. Yeah, yes. But they're so, don't you dare to say anything about Yeah. So we saw this, we saw other places that, um, Malacatos and the, what, we didn't like about the climate. It gets very dry, and every everything yeah, it gets brown. looks brown, yeah. beige. Yeah. Not like here. It never gets brown. No. It's green, and I don't mind warm rain. So that's the benefit of of mm -hmm. rainy weather. But yeah, and from Loja, it was a na natural progression to Peru. Because at that time, also, yeah. it was more and more talk on the blogs and now, everywhere. I got an email from you after know. you were in Peru about, we found it. This is the most <laughs> wonderful place in the world. Well, where we went in Peru, though, was pretty off the tra off the beaten path. Yes. We took, uh, we, we went into, it would have been the, the northeast corner we bust uh, from Loja. We, we bust from Loja. We went into, and it was in. It would have been considered Amazonas, I guess. It uh, is Amazonas. Yeah, but when, it's in the mountains. It's in the mountains, and when we we were the last people on the bus, when we crossed the river, there was a bridge. There was no immigration. We couldn't find the immigration guys. Um, <laughs> we crossed. So we walked over to Peru and asked them, "Where's the immigration guys on the other side of the border?" And they said, "Oh, they, they're probably watching the." It was during the time yeah, of the, yeah. it was during the Mundial. They were probably <laughs> watching uh, football. So we went back over and we found a little kid to help us find the immigration guys to stamp our passports so we could get out of uh, so we could get out of Ecuador. From there, the 
that part of um, Peru was not so touristy, and it was um, some of the towns were a little rough and tumble, kind of front, give you kind of a frontier. Front frontier, feel. definitely very More, dusty. You kind of very uh, dusty. No other tourists. No, no tourists. there was no local tourists. Yeah. There was no foreign tourists. Very few in those uh, in those towns. It, so it was kind of isolated. And to but, to cover a hundred kilometers, you sometimes need to have three means of transportation at least, mm -hmm. like a car, mm -hmm. a tuk tuk, or something Donkey. else, something, yeah. else, something else. So, riding in the taxi with with kids with roosters. So it was quite an experience, but. At this point, we understood how isolated everything in Peru is. It's really... The connections, unless you fly on the bus, it, would it can take you 90 kilometers. You will spend six hours yeah. on the bus. It's very strenuous. Chachapoyas. Chachapoyas. No, it, it, and Chachapoyas we, is highly... Re I highly recommend that whole valley. Spectacular. Um, and and it, that's probably where we... We were really impressed with that area. Yeah, it, it so was the natural really beauty, interesting. Um, and there were some uh, Europeans living in that area too. But um, anthropologically, it's just one of the most very rich, yeah, very, very fascinating. So we stayed there. We explored everything we could, and then moved to Cajamarca. And also, Cajamarca is fantastic, yeah. fantastic spot. Nicely but, located, nice climate. Yeah, at this point. I started to constantly noticing the smell of urine. Yeah. For some reason, Peruvian men piss everywhere they go. <laughs> everywhere. At any time of to the me, day. That's I, Peru. I, yeah. It's that stench. Dogs? And, well, it's not even like they try to hide it. I mean, it was pretty much <laughs> obvious. It, you, it, you saw it all over the place. It it's was really irritating. Ten years ago, Ecuador was like that. But was, they. Clean it up. Yeah. But in Peru, it's just. Oh, it's ridiculous. They're like dogs. They just lift up their leg and go. And just go. right during the day. It's not even like they're trying to hide. It's not like it was an emergency. It was just, it's, that's just the way they yeah, do it. that smell. Is and it was everywhere. I need, um, they, therefore, I go. Dogs, stray dogs for me, they didn't seem very abused or emaciated. Actually, people like dogs, but they're neglected and yeah. they're packs of them packs of them and the dog shit is everywhere everywhere and at night you can't have decent sleep anywhere in peru because they party every dogs. place that we've been every, in peru there was always a problem at night with dogs dogs howling dogs it's barking crazy. it just goes on all night and different they take shifts yeah <laughs> Another reason for us at first, again, we fell in love because of the nature. We love nature. We hiked a lot there. We visited Juarez and spent time in the mountains and the beauty is just... Well, that was after Cajamarca. We, we, when we got to... Juarez. When we got to Juarez, I mean, that, we spent almost a month there. That was... Um, I was spectacular. out of this world. Yeah. And we, we, we were thinking maybe... No. No, we can't. You again. You can't fit. It seems to me that there is a little attitude that people don't care that much. I think Colombians are very industrious. Even we see people work. We see uh, construction workers because everywhere you turn, it's something is this going on. This town's growing. Yes, this town's really yes, growing. Yes, especially here. Yeah. And you see how people work, how people... They they're very, very creative, too. I think Colombians are a little Curious. details here that, that you don't even find in the States. It, it's, it really is impressive. But in Peru, it's very different. So after we traveled off the beaten path for gringos, we ended up in Cusco. Boy, I hated it. <laughs> well, you got to say, we, we did spend some time in, in uh, Lima. Oh yeah, uh, Lima was very more where we stayed. Where we stayed was fabulous. I mean, it's like and we went food. there to eat. Right. We went to Lima. We saved up money. We ate and cheap it, in Lima. We went all the way. And it was everything. It was good food, good wine, good, good beer. beer. It was just and every meal, even even the like the. Um, Almuerzo Preparados, where it, everything was everything was an adventure for us. So that was two weeks, um, and it was a culinary 
it was a culinary excursion. Yeah, there's a lot of expats there. Um, Visit if you like to eat. <laughs> yes, if you don't like to eat, you know, it was very, it was chilly. It's gray. So we stayed a little longer in Cusco than we needed to. We we were thinking that, that this is the crown jewel of the Peruvian. Yeah, we rented uh, an apartment. We really thought this was going to be a, something, you know, that it, it was pretty sad. It was not something. The altitude is mm. a killer, and we we were fine. We walked a lot, but you constantly. And we've been at high altitude. <gasps> we've been at high altitude and been acclimated before. It didn't take us so long in Juarez to get acclimated to the altitude as it did. Is it seemed like it was more difficult, more difficult to breathe. No, it's dirty. It's ridiculous. The city is so beautiful. It's so rich in history. It's so dirty. Again, the dogs. Again, the dog shit. Again, the piss. Again, the klaxons or whatever, uh, the, the horns, the horn, horns. Car, car horns, terrible driving. And plastic and garbage pickup, they don't even, they don't even... It, it's sad. It was really sad to observe and because we didn't stay in the center in the hotel, we, we were renting an apartment. Right, so we're just outside of the tourist area. It's, we, we left earlier. We, we left before our time was up. This money. And it was cold. It was cold. We, we needed to run this gas heater all the time. And Constantly. because the gas tanks are never full, so we paid and paid and paid because it's impossible. It was so, so cold. So from that moment, it was just, nah, probably not.